Good morning and welcome to our daily devotion and prayer. Uh, today's message will be mainly focused on how God's Word cleanses us our impurities. And we will also be talking about how people atone for their sins. Our key verse is found in Leviticus chapter 16 verse 4. These are sacred garments, so he must bathe himself with water before he puts them on. Did you know that there is a massive difference of how people from the past and we people of the present atone for our sins? In the Old Testament, people are only allowed to offer sacrifices on the outer courts and it is only the high priest who can enter the Holy of Holies. Aaron, on that time, who is a high priest, had to wash his entire body with water before he put on the sacred garments of the priesthood in order to be clean and when he entered at the holiest places of the tabernacle. On the same manner, we must also be cleansed before we enter God's presence. But with the fulfillment of the law in the New Testament, we no longer need to wash ourselves with actual water before we need uh, to meet the Lord. In John 53, Christ uh, told his disciples, You are already clean because of the word I have spoken to you. Ephesians 5.25-26 says, Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word. In these scriptures, it is clearly stated by Christ that we are already clean through the words He has spoken. The Word of God is our water for spiritual cleansing, so we need to meditate continually on the scriptures. Now, you might be wondering why do we need to continually seek and study and uh, be completely soaked in His words? Then. Uh, Actually, the answer is very simple. With the kind of world we are living in right now, we definitely need His Word. We definitely need His wisdom and His guidance. The world today is full of all kinds of hate, all kinds of dirt, unbelief, fear, and evil. Every time we're in conversation with people, especially those who aren't in the faith, they rub off our Im- or impart some negativities on us. Every time we watch uh, news on the television or even every time we're staying in our social media accounts, there's always, always something terrible and negative happening, something with some fear and uncleanness in it. Just then we realize that the wrong thoughts come flooding to us and unconsciously it starts to feed us with worldly conception from which we have to cleanse ourselves. And then you might ask, how, how do we purify ourselves from the dirt we contact from the world? David, he emphasized in Psalms 119 verses 9 to 11, How can a young man keep his way pure? By living according to your word. I seek you with all my heart. Do not let me stray from your commands. I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. When we come before God, we need to make sure that we've read the Word and that we are obeying it. Otherwise, we will enter into God's presence with our own ideas and attitudes. Remember that the Word washes us completely, cleansing our hearts and our minds, purifying our attitudes and actions. God's Word displaces unrighteousness from a man's heart and replaces it with righteousness. God's word wipes out fear and replaces it with faith. The word of God is a cleanser. It cleanses anyone who comes under its influence, power, and authority. And I pray that you guys today has allowed the word to cleanse your heart and transform your life. Let us pray. Lord God in heaven, we're just so thankful, Lord God, for all the blessings that you're giving us, Lord. We thank you for continually cleansing and purifying us through your words, Lord. We pray that you um, help us remain, Lord, in, in your words so we may be able to enter into your presence with clean and pure hearts. Lord, please teach us, um, um, teach us how, to, how, um, how to be more sensitive um, to the leading of the Holy Spirit so we may be able to walk perfectly 
in your glory and in your will. In Jesus' name we pray. 